Florida sinkholes suggest America was colonized far earlier than we thought. A collection of fossils and artifacts discovered in a sinkhole in a river on Florida's Gulf Coast suggests that we've been wrong about when the first humans arrived in North America. History textbooks may have to be rewritten after researchers made new discoveries at an archaeological site located within a sinkhole in Florida's Osceola River. The Page Ladson archaeological site was the site of several digs in the 1980s and 1990s. Between 2012 and 2014, a new team decided to follow up on decades-old research. The sinkhole measures almost 200 feet wide and 35 feet deep and is bounded by bedrock on all sides. Researchers discovered mastodon bones, fossilized dung, and stone tools in the sinkhole. The stone tools recovered from the sinkhole include a biface, a stone that's been manually sharpened on both ends. On a previous excavation, archaeologists found an adult mastodon tusk that appeared to have human-made grooves along its surface. When this mastodon was killed, the sinkhole was probably a watering hole used by humans, bison, mastodons, and wild dogs alike. Prehistoric humans called the Clovis culture were believed to have originally arrived in North America via a land bridge about 13,000 years ago, as mammoth bones and spearheads have revealed. However, some of the items recently discovered within the Osceola River date back to more than 14,550 years ago, when the land bridge may not have existed. What these new discoveries suggest is that a land bridge from Siberia is not the answer to how the first humans initially colonized North America. And someone else was in America long before the Clovis showed up. Who these people may be, archaeologists don't know yet. 